Hello everybody, this is my informal upright hawthorn tree. Uh, I've been growing this for a lot of years and uh, it needs a bit of tidying up this spring. I'm quite pleased with it. It still needs something doing with the apex, uh, which kind of is out of balance with the, the base of the tree, I feel. Um, but all in all, I'm quite pleased with it. It's a little bit congested, um, so I'm going to thin out some of the growth and uh, just give it a bit of a prune. So let's get on with that. Okay, so some parts of the tree need more work than others. Uh, this particular branch at the moment um, I'm quite pleased with and don't feel it needs an awful lot of work doing to it. Uh, you can see here where it had an original chop, this tree, and it is beginning to fill in that that hole. Let me move you in a bit closer so you can see that. Um, yeah, so it is gradually filling in that hole. Okay, but back to the branch. Um, I have a few bits like here that's going back towards the trunk of the tree. Um, and I'm just going to shorten back a couple of these long shoots to a bud. A dead piece there. I have a thorn there, so I'll get rid of that. Because that'll bite me later if I don't. Um, just shortening back some of these long pieces. This piece is interfering. Well, these two pieces are interfering with each other. And actually I don't like the way that branch kind of mirrors that branch. So I'm going to shorten that one got a nice bud heading in this direction and uh, bud going in the wrong direction there another branch going in the wrong direction there and there and that's it for that branch that's all I'm going to do so if I bring this lower branch down um, I have a bit more congestion and uh, it's also starting to compete some of the growth will compete from this branch into this branch um, so I'm going to remove that that's growing directly into that branch interestingly um, I have a lot of lichen growing on this side of the tree so um, apparently that's a sign of a healthy atmosphere so um, why this side of the tree has got a healthier atmosphere than the other side, I don't quite know, but uh, there you have it. Anyway, so we'll see you in a little bit more. I'm going to... I don't want to do too much pruning. This tree actually flowered for me last year, which was nice. There's a, a short video in the playlist for this tree. Um, from last April, I think it was, where the tree actively flowered for me for the first time. There was only one flower out, so I remember. It wasn't a huge amount of flower, um, flower, but I was pleased with it. So I'm just going to shorten back some of these long, thin pieces. Any bits that are crossing over one another. Like so it's okay to have two planes like that I feel um, not like in this thick chunky piece that's growing downwards and under I'm going to lose that and that piece any of these pieces that are competing I'm going to lose I don't like this branch, I'm going to just lose that one. And these pieces can come in and fill that area in. Wherever I see a spike or a thorn, it being a hawthorn, I'm going to chop it off because uh, they'll come back and bite me literally at some point if I don't.
there's certainly times when these trees are nicer to look at than to handle. Um, yes, yeah, very skinny pieces. Okay, so um, this back branch, I'm just going to shorten a few pieces back to a nice flat bud. It's going in the right direction. Turn that piece back to there. In fact, that. Okay, so that's sort of the lower branches. Really not happy with the arrangement of some of the higher branches on this tree. Um, this one's this one's not too bad. This one's not too bad. This particular branch has got really out of um, proportion. It's so much thicker than the branches at the base of the tree. Um, so I think I, when I get to that, I'm going to ditch it entirely and hope that we'll get another another branch. But that's part of my general vaguely unhappiness about the apex of this tree. Um, it's just not quite working for me. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, moving back down. Okay, so now we're getting near the top. Um, and the branches at the back here, they're working reasonably well. This one's kind of shading out some of these other pieces. So, I think I'm going to lose this second piece here. The branch comes out, um, forks directly from the trunk into two pieces. So I'm going to lose that. Um, that's better. People have asked me why this tree weeps and it just seems to be, once I got this bend in the trunk, the branches automatically came downwards. So I've train the other branches to do the same. Okay, so... Um, time to deal with this monstrosity, I would call it. I'm really not happy with the way it juts up out of the trunk and the way it's so out of proportion with the rest of the apex um, and the rest of the branches so I'm going to bite the bullet and it's gone um, it does leave this area slightly denuded but it, it just didn't work it wasn't a it wasn't a good branch to keep. Um, this piece is actually dead. But I have a bud, a couple of buds just here. And I'm going to shorten that back. I'm going to shorten quite a lot of the top back in the hope that that'll force some back budding in this area um, and maybe I can get a branch coming where I need one. Okay, so So that's 
sometimes yeah, see something and you decide, oh, can I keep it, can I not? And not is the answer. Um, and it's best to lose it before you change your mind. Oh, I, I feel anyway. Okay, so that's all the work I'm going to do to the top of the tree. I'm going to clean up the base a little now. This tree was only repotted uh, last spring, so I'm not going to repot it again today. Or even this year, I think you can repot trees too often. Um, and then they spend a lot of their time recovering from and repotting um, each year rather than developing as bonsai each year. What I am going to do is get rid of this moss, which if you're a regular subscriber and if you're not, hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, if you're a regular subscriber, you'll know that I just don't particularly like moss um, on my pots and I find that a good way of getting rid of it is a little nylon brush. Okay, so now I can add a little of the controlled release fertilizer on the outside. Just a little bit, I don't want to over fertilize trees. Um, This will just, as the soil warms up, will release some f the fertilizer bit when the tree it is just in the right conditions to be actively growing. So, let's fill it back in a bit and put these roots that sit a little proud otherwise. Um, it would be lovely if I could get the tree to produce a root just here, but it's very stubbornly has one, but it's right there. So. back here. Some of this will wash down with watering but uh, eventually the roots will hold it in place. Okay so that looks a bit glaringly new now. But, uh, obviously when you have a drink it'll darken up. Let me just see if I can give you a close-up on that root base. Uh, it does have the illusion of, you know, really holding on to that soil. Um, yeah, like I say, it would have been nicer had this root been a little higher up the trunk. Uh, but nature gives you what nature is going to give you. and. You can manipulate it to a certain extent, uh, but uh, half the time that's all you can do to a certain extent. Then you have to go with the flow. Okay, so you can see I've missed a few whippy shoots on this branch um, that I can shorten back as a branch. In there I have three branches almost from the same place, so I'm going to lose the central one. If I can, that's it, sever it without cutting off the others. Um, okay, so let's get this back on the turntable and give it another quick look over. Okay, so I've given it a drink, um, wet down this uh, new top dressing, and I'll give you a, another quick 360. I'm 
unhappy with the work I've done to the top of the tree and as I'm watching it go around now I'm even more unhappy with the work I've done to the top of this tree um, but there are no take twos in bonsai I, I'm now looking at it and I'm thinking maybe if I'd kept this piece I could have wired a piece up um, I just don't like this piece now um, I could cut the whole thing off and see what happens but I'm not going to do that or am I? do you know what? I know I said there are no take twos but sometimes you've got to bite the bullet and you've got to say I don't like something the way it is and uh, I'm not going to like it anymore tomorrow could grow on me I suppose but um, no so I'm going to let's move the camera in slightly so you can see better apologies if that just made you seasick I can see the rake sprouting of a bud about there so should I have done that of course people will tell me in the comments that uh, I probably shouldn't have done that but if something bothers you um, sometimes you just need to bite the bullet and do it so that's what I've done I'm sure I'll get lots of buds pop in this part um, maybe I can extend the lead in this direction and lose this piece um, it's a step backwards but sometimes as I said you know, take a step backwards uh, to turn around and go in a better direction all right well that's it for this video thank you all for putting up with me and watching and uh, please 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 do take care of yourselves